Hey guys, welcome to uh, Goodness Chick. This week we are going to be chatting about the topic of sex, S-E-X. We are chatting, um, and it's something I think that is a very critical thing that we need to chat about because we're kind of in a day and age with our young people, high school, college age, where they're really inundated with, I mean, every angle imaginable um, that sex is kind of a, a normal part of, you know, um, whether it's middle school, high school, college, on a level that it's it's kind of blown the term promiscuity out of the water where it's with multiple people at any time for any reason um, and it has a lot of emotional implications to it so uh, I know it's a topic that can be uncomfortable to talk about with our kids but um, if we don't provide the information and we don't chat with them about what our expectations are, what our hopes and desires for them in terms of relationships are, they're going to get that information from somebody else. And so I encourage you to talk with your kids in terms of, you know, are you, as a parent, your hope for your child to wait till they're married? Is it your hope that, you know, it, for them to find somebody um, that, they, that they love and waiting till that point? Um, because if, if it kind of stays self-contained within your mind, um, then you're, you're, they're getting information from where they really shouldn't be getting it from. If you um, were to hop, hop on any form of social media, whether it's um, music, it's um, movies, whatever you could possibly think of, there's sex infused in pretty much every aspect of our society. And um, when we kind of might have this naive mentality while well, our kids will rise above that well they're not going to because they're human beings and they're kids with not fully super developed brains and with that um, you know that's kind of not a good mix for every with things and what I'll say too with with their young people especially in high school there's this mentality because of this this inundated with sex 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 that feeling that um, you know if I'm in high school and by the time I'm getting ready to graduate if I haven't had sex yet there's something wrong with me which is completely wrong but they're they're hit with that to the second aspect of it of sex really isn't a big deal and having it with multiple people at any time um, is kind of normal and having multiple partners where whether it's guys or girls, you know, someone took me out to dinner or this person complimented me, so I should totally, you know, I should have sex with them. And so um, in terms of anything, you know, sacred to sex and, and the, the emotional component has really kind of been extracted where it's no big deal. And I'll tell you, it is a big deal. And it's something um, I'll say as a counselor, uh, the number of young people I've dealt with who've said, I just want to, you know, get sex over with. I want to be done with it to those who've said, you know, hey, I had, you know, um, I slept with two or three people over the weekend. I don't really remember everything. Um, that it's no big deal. Uh, it's disturbing. And at some point, these young people will progress where they're going to want to be in a relationship with one person. They're not going to want to be married. And if we don't think that there's going to be emotional implications with that, we're kind of really super naive. And so I, I encourage you talk, 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 talk with your young people. This could be a topic that really doesn't have to be super duper uncomfortable. Um, if you make it uncomfortable, it's uncomfortable. But when the younger we kind of start with our kids, whatever, you know, your comfort level is with that middle school, if you wait to high school, that's, that's very late. They've heard about it, um, much, much, much earlier than that, but dialogue with them, um, that it's not something to be uncomfortable about. What What are your expectations? What do you think? What are they hearing? And I could bet you a hundred bucks that if I were to hop on, um, you know, your kids um, on on their social media, and I'm not saying that they're necessarily posting the stuff. That's not what I'm saying. But I guarantee, through a group text message, through um, a group Snapchat story, someone Snapchat, um, Instagram, Instagram, there is super duper disturbing stuff on their kids sending no naked pictures, um, thing you know. Um, semi-clothed pictures to whatever and and what they're getting constantly berated with sex 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 and multiple people there's no consequences and there are and so as a parent kind of trying to hold the ground you know um as much as you can is super duper important and sending them positive messages that they are worth something they are wonderful they don't aren't obligated to have sex because somebody super took them out for a frosty um, there's something wrong with that but those are the kind of messages that they're getting let's override that so I, I know that's a tough one that we kind of hit on this week but I say tackle it think about it and um, I wish you the best it's always a fun conversation to have peace love and goodness and have a great week